and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. Today we are introducing our new set, Critters at the Dog Park. It is the next installment of our Critter series and it is such a fun set. It also has coordinating dies too, which makes it really easy to use. So let's go ahead and stamp it out and create a fun project with these stamps. Our first dog here is a spaniel looking dog. Then we have a Scotty dog. A dash hound flying through the air. Cute little French Bulldog, a Boxer, and then we have accessories to go around all of these fun little dogs. So we have a fire hydrant and some grass. What's great about the grass is that you can extend it as long as it needs to be. One thing I like doing is after I stamp once, I stamp again, and then I can get two different shades of green. For example, if I was using green ink for my grass, so I st stamped off on some scratch paper and then layered, and you really get some cute looks that way. We have the I rough you sentiment, <laughs> and of course a little dog bone. Gotta love that hot dog sentiment. Of course we included a separate exclamation point, a really fun dog bowl, sweet bow tie that can be a hair bow or a necktie, butterfly which is great for setting the scene, a paw print which I love the idea of creating a cute pattern paper with that paw print. And of course a tennis ball for that cute little doxy to chase after. And then my favorite sentiment that's thanks for being my friend, which is great for dogs. <laughs> I'm going to color this dog in three different shades of brown. I always like to lay on a base of my lightest color first, and then I can start adding in my darker color. So this is my medium brown here, and I'm doing it kind of messy because especially when it comes to critters, the messier you do it, kind of the more it looks like fur. So I'm just layering on, and then I follow the lines to put the darkest. So follow the line of the tail, the leg, the ears, and that kind of helps you know where to put the dark lines. Another fun way to add color to these dogs is to use paper piecing, which means to stamp on a piece of pattern paper and cut it out and allow that pattern to provide your color and texture. I think it's so fun and really whimsical to add some cute patterns like this triangle pattern from Daphne's Closet to the dogs. Another fun way to add a little interest to some paper piecing is just to add a little bit of color on the nose and the snout there and then his little ears. It just adds a little bit of interest on top of that pattern paper which is really cute. Another way to color these dogs is to be inspired by markings on dogs in your life. This is my brother's dog Owen and he is an adorable French Bulldog and so I thought it would be fun to take a look at his picture and draw in his markings. It's a great way to get even more looks out of all of these stamps to add spots and little splotches and all the fun things that you see in dogs in real life. After laying down that really light gray, I'm now going to start copying his markings with this medium gray and then just adding a little bit more colors. I realized it needed to be a little bit darker to match Owen. He actually looks a little blue in real life, so I'm layering on this baby blue color over the gray and then I will layer a gray on top of that so that he doesn't look so blue. But now you can see through the gray that bluish tint is shining through. The die set for Critters at the Dog Park comes with dies for all of the different dogs in the set. I love how they easily line up over the stamped images. So you stamp and color and then cut them out. So I'm just putting them through my die cutting machine. And you can see how cute they look once they're popped out. I just love it. Just adorable. I love seeing them cut out with that perfect little white line around them. They just look so sweet and perfect for any project. To create this card, I'm going to be using our circle stackables and scallop circle stackables dies. So you'll see how they coordinate. So the largest scalloped die coordinates with the second largest circle die and so forth. Both the largest circle and the largest scallop circle have been perfectly sized to fit in a standard size envelope so you can mail fun shaped cards really easily with standard postage. I've cut a circle from the third largest circle in the circle stackable set and I've layered a post-it there so that I can protect the bottom half of my post-it while I create my sky using tumbled glass ink, broken china ink, and peacock feathers. 
So I'm just going with a foam applicator, foam ink applicator. You could use a makeup sponge too. And I'm just going to layer on my color. And so now I'm going to my second darkest blue. And then you'll see, I decided I really wanted a kind of a cool teal color to the sky instead, kind of something a little bit brighter. So I went crazy with the peacock feathers ink and just kept layering it on. I think it ended up looking pretty cool. The next step is to heat set it and just dry that ink a little bit so that the post-it will stick to it. When the ink is still wet, the post-it won't stick to protect the blue half from the green ink. Next. When I lay the post-it down, you'll see a little sliver of blue is sticking out. And I did that for a reason. That's so that when we put the green ink down, we don't end up with any white space between the blue and the green. So you'll see if you just leave a tiny little sliver that it's going to look perfect when you remove the post-it. I'm layering shabby shutters and then some peeled paint ink. My post-it lifted up a little bit there because I didn't dry my ink all the way, so I had to lay it back down. But now I'm ready to continue adding ink. Just adding on the final little touches here. And you'll see when I remove the post-it what a cool look there is between the green grass and the blue sky. I've now cut a red circle with my second largest scallop circle, which coordinates with the third largest uh, plain circle there. And I also cut a white one for the base. I'm going to start layering my cute little French Bulldog and Scotty Dog, and we're going to make them be in love. Earlier, I had cut some hearts using our hearts dies from some red cardstock to coordinate with the scallop circle. I'm layering two levels of foam adhesive just to add some extra interest to that heart. And it really gives it just kind of a cool look, really raised up. And then now I'm going to stamp that I rough you sentiment in the grass. And now to create my scallop circle card base, I'm going to measure three quarters of an inch down from the top of the scallop circle there. And just create a score line and then fold that. The next step is to add adhesive above that score line. Just put a bunch on there, make sure it's really well glued down. And then I just like to stack my two scallop circles and then just press it down to create my folding shaped card. How cool it looks and it really adds a little extra something to a simple card like this. To make sure that I adhere my front panel straight, I'm just lining up that score line with the lines on my grid mat. I'll hold that card base down and then just adhere my dog. So now I know when I open the card, it's going to be nice and straight. Super cute. I thought it would be cute to give the dogs a little bow tie and a hair bow. So I just stamped some out and added some color. Cut them out and adhere them down to the dogs. I just love this set. So that is Critters at the Dog Park. I just love this stamp set and the coordinating die set too. It comes with a bunch of little accessories to help you kind of create the scene for your dogs, like the fire hydrant and the grass and the tennis ball, butterfly, all of these other little items, which are so fun. I think it would be really fun to make a pattern paper out of that little paw print. And then we have all of our dogs. So what's really fun about the dogs is that you can color them in all sorts of colors. You could do paper piecing with pattern paper and get a totally different look. Or you can also color in markings too, like little spots and stuff. So you can really get a lot of fun looks out of these dogs. And of course the dies cut that perfect space around them, which makes it just so easy to use. Now I have a bunch of dogs already cut out, so I'm ready to make more cards, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.